All right, folks, welcome to Collegian Readers and viewers. Shane Cohen, Marcus Traxler, one final time uh, after an SDSU home game, and it's a win on Hobo Day for the Jackrabbits. They pull it out by a final score of 45 34. And Shane, uh, an up and down game. Uh, they threw a lot of passes in a day where it was really windy. <laughs> and it's surprising, I, I, to be honest with you. And just talk about what, what you kind of came away with. Uh, you know, the big thing for me. Uh, was was the bigger plays, which uh, usually it's coming from the other teams that SDSU is playing. But uh, they had some big plays today. Dale Moss had the 71-yard touchdown catch, and I mean, even even big plays in a sense, maybe not as, not in terms of yardage, but uh, you know, just that uh, fake that fake botch punt, whatever you want to call it. But uh, you know, that was a big one that um, to get the first down and eventually the lead, they they go down and score. So that was one of the plays I think for the whole year. <laughs> yep. the, uh, but that was going to be a punt. He tried to punt it a couple times and then realized that I'll just run with it. Yep. <laughs> uh, 18 yards and a first down. And that led to a 35-14 lead at halftime. Mm -hmm. The Jacks slide a little bit uh, in that third quarter. And then I think the, the, the big Zach Zenner run the, right after they had scored and kind of set themselves back up to, to go ahead. And then uh, the big kick by uh, Saravatka to nail 47-yarder after he struggled. That was pretty big. And uh, every facet was pretty good today. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, you really can't complain about it at all. Um, uh, the big, one of the big things I pointed to was the front seven, uh, uh, how they were playing against Julie Hampton. I thought they did a pretty good job in the first half. They still had 70 yards and a touchdown in that first half, but um, uh, I thought they they contained him pretty well. And um, uh, just, uh, you know, we, I, was, I was more impressed with the defensive backfield today than I have been probably all season. It's interesting to talk about Still goes for 28 carries, 167. Yeah. <laughs> a big day for him. Uh, but it is the Jackrabbits on top in you know, a victory uh, on Hobo Day, the 98th Hobo Day game. And uh, SDC wins 45 34. Our last time we'll have a uh, look at these guys for the year. Your thoughts? I mean, on the season of the whole, definitely a disappointment for SDC, but uh, can you kind of sum it up as, as what you thought? I think the, uh, you know, the biggest. The biggest thing for me going into next season for the Jacks is going to be the development of Austin Summer. Um, I mean, we've had numerous coaches up in that uh, up in that press conference room talking about you know how they're impressed they were with him and you know how he doesn't look like a redshirt freshman. So it for me it'll be interesting to see how he develops and you know how he continues to build uh, the chemistry with Aaron Rohn or is going to be here next year. There's no doubt. There's a lot of facets to work on. How will run how the running game progress. I think there'll be receivers. I don't think that's an issue. Yep, no. I think is what will the secondary look like next season? Uh, because there's been improvement from guys in the front seven. Mm -hmm. I think that's clear. Mm -hmm. But the secondary up in the air, and this is a team that now will have underachieved twice. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to to grow a little bit and uh, become a better team. I think you're right about some of being uh, part of the big solution, and he's been as good as you can ask for so far. So. Uh, Next week, Western Illinois, the final game of the season. Jacks end us end a week early because their bye is actually the last week. So, uh, but a final and a whole day victory for the Jackrabbits for Shane and Marcus. We appreciate it all season long, and uh, join us throughout the basketball year. Uh, we'll have plenty of coverage. Thanks.